Though the second most populated city in Switzerland, Geneva manages to have a small town feel despite being so internationally important. Located on the shores of Lake Geneva, this French-speaking metropolis has a lot going on, and I set off on an epic day to see what I could do in 24 hours on foot. It began with a water taxi ride and a jump on the tram to discover a popular Mediterranean-style neighborhood. So just 10 minutes outside of the city center is this really charming neighborhood called Carouge, and it reminds me so much of the West Village. Those are gorgeous. Merci. Ah, oh, sont très belles. <laughs> Everything here is fresh from the farms that surround Geneva. The Saturday farmer's market was a perfect time to get a true taste of the local life and a sense of the products grown in the Geneva region. <laughs> My local friend Christelle and I had a little picnic in one of the many parks nearby. The tram makes it so easy to get around. I could zip back to the city center in just a few minutes. One thing you have to do in Geneva is come here to the old town. A step back in time, the Old Town, or VAV, dates back over 2,000 years, with streets twisting up the hill on which the Cathedral of St. Peter sits. And if you brave the 157 steps up the tower, you'll be rewarded with a spectacular panoramic view. But our perfect day in Geneva was not even close to over. We were on a lake, so of course I needed to see the city aboard a Belle Epoque steamship. A really fun thing to do during the day in Geneva is coming out onto the lake. You can take a boat cruise that lets you explore the city and the countryside. Plus on this steamship, the Savoy, you can even have a beautiful lunch as you watch the lake go by. <laughs> it doesn't get more Swiss than Swiss Army knives. And here at the Victorinox flagship store in Geneva, you can make your own. Perfect. All right. That little guy is always yeah. tough. My knife is almost complete. For the last step, the tweezers. Very important. Voila! Another one of Geneva's many claims to fame is being the seat of the European United Nations. And though we didn't go through the League of Nations tour, we did visit the surrounding park and the iconic sites like the Broken Chair. As you can see, there's no shortage of amazing Geneva restaurants. But the Cottage Cafe, located inside the middle of a park, was a unique and very cozy choice. It was friendly and filled with locals chattering over small plates that were meant for sharing and tasting. Geneva is rich in so many ways, and I think you might want even more than 24 hours to experience it all.